I've met up with one of Palmer's leading biologists, Jim McClintock. Over five trips to Antarctica, Jim's attention has shifted to one of the most pressing issues now facing scientists, and indeed us all, climate change. Well, one of the most dramatic things is what's happened right here with the Mar Glacier. Um, just in the 10 years that I've been here, it's receded. In the last uh, 50 or 60 years, it's over half a kilometer. It's receded back. A colleague of mine that used to come here in the late 70s said you could walk out of the back of the station and almost step onto it. And uh, so now it's a hike. And I remember when I first came here in 2001, I'd sit in my office and maybe once a week, I'd hear a big crashing sound. And we'd run down the hall and look out here and and we'd see a big chunk that's fallen into the water. And now that's happening five, six, seven times a day. In fact, I don't even get up from my desk. It's just so common. So what's, what's causing this change? Well, this is now uh, considered the most rapidly warming region of the planet. It's warming about a degree centigrade a decade. So over 60 years, we've had a six degree increase in centigrade. And what does this mean for uh, life here in Antarctica? The most poignant example of what's happening here is the Adelie penguin. We've gone from 15,000 breeding pairs out here on this island to about 3,000. One thing that's happening is as the air is warming here, it's ironically getting more humid and snowing more. You don't think of snowing more in a warmer scenario, but that's what's happening. The Adelis are so used to showing up and, and laying their eggs at the same time every year that they come and they lay their eggs and then there'll be this snowstorm. It buries the eggs and the eggs, when that slushy water melts from the snow, they essentially drown the eggs. So an entire generation of Adelis can be wiped out in one of these storms.